Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tracy. I homestead on, homestead on a little postage stamp sized piece of land I rent. And I live here with my little rescue dog, Chiggy. And I did have 10 chickens, but I lost one of my hens on Thanksgiving Day. So I'm down to nine. Eight hens and a mean old rooster. I try and do a wide variety of things because I kindly am, I used to be OCD about things, but now I find that my mind scatters a lot. So I will do gardening and I will do stuff with the chickens and I will do home repair, DIY, uh, preserving, just anything that needs to be done here on the homestead, I attempt to do it myself. I want to apologize for the lighting. It is early in the morning here. And I don't have anything better than this at the moment. I'm working on that. I'm getting ready to start my morning jobs. Me and, well, I, I would say me and Chiggy just got up. But he got up, went outside, came back in. He's back in bed. So, you know, it is what it is. He's a little bit spoiled that way. So, I need to get my morning emails done. And um, I don't have any other obligations as far as work today. I have put in a few applications for writing jobs. I have not heard back from them, but fingers crossed. Today is December 1st, 2022. It's a Thursday. And I do believe I'm going to attempt Vlogmas this year and try and vlog every day. I'm not guaranteeing it will be very long uh, vlogs that I put up. Just depends on where the day takes me. And I will try and keep them minimalize the boredom of them as much as possible so but some days I'm probably going to have to reach for things to blog about but then again maybe not I never know each day is different I'm going to get these emails done and then come back and figure out where the day is going to go So I've got my email clients taken care of and um, a few other things done that I need to get done this morning. I put in my order over at the farm where I uh, pick up uh, our meat for myself and two of my aunts. I got that squared away. Um, now I'm trying to decide how I'm wanting to do this vlogmas. Like I said, I'm wanting to vlog for 25 days from today until Christmas and I may do it until the end of the month depending on how much I can get done. I will say that I have not decorated that much for Christmas. Um, I'll show you what I have done here in a few minutes and I do have a video up of when I decorated my tree. So you can view that one. I'll try to remember to link it 
either in the description or put a card up. I'm, I'm new to putting cards into videos, so it may more likely be linked in the description. But either way, I'll try and remember to put it on this video. And um, I need, I've gotten the chickens done. As you can see, daylight has finally come. No longer dark. I got bet, a little bit better lighting, natural lighting. Uh, the chickens are out. They're, they're very happy. They got their cracked corn and they've started their day. They've been a little bit chatty and fussy today, but I figure that's because of the cold and they seem to still be losing a few feathers. Uh, they molted a little bit worse this year than they typically do, so I'm a little bit worried about them because they are still losing a few feathers. I've checked them over for everything else and their um, combs are still a little bit pale, so maybe they haven't moved completely through their molt. Anyone who knows more about that and about chickens molting and how I can help that along and make it a little bit easier on them, please let me know in the comments below. I have had chickens for going on four years in March, but I have learned that it is a learning curve and continual learning process. And that um, I've lost three hens and five babies in, the t in that time frame. And I've, I was told by someone that to always remember that chickens get sick and within 24 hours they're gone. A sick chicken is a dead chicken. We don't have any kind of avian or poultry vets where I live, even though I do live rural in the country. So I'm kind of on my own here and I try to do the best form that I can. So any suggestions on how I can make it easier on them or something I may be overlooking, please let me know. I'm going to turn you around here real quick and show you the huge Christmas decorations that I do have. So, we'll start with my Christmas tree. I was very happy with how, it, with how it turned out this year. As you can see, I do like red and plaid. <laughs> so that's primarily the theme of it. And I really like my rooster vane tree topper that my cousin got me last year. My cousin also made me this little lantern that I saw on Pinterest. It does light up and it's got such a warm, homey glow. And that's my little dog, Chiggy. He doesn't like for me to make videos. And she also made me the joy sign that I've got sitting there. And I really love what little bit I do have out. And um, I just don't, didn't feel in the mood to really decorate a lot this year. Not that I really am a heavy decorator. So I just put out what I felt like putting out. And I left it at that. This is the little noise maker. If he's on the camera, he's usually okay if he's on the video. But he doesn't like me talking and not being about him. He's a little bit of a... So, I'm here at a local Walmart. I had an unexpected trip here. My aunt wanted to return some stuff. And there was a couple of things I wanted to look for. And of course, I always need stuff like this. So, I decided to go ahead and tag them all. I'm a little bit surprised that the prices has gone up a little bit more, but I guess it could be worse. I've seen some other grocery hauls and some people have it. I'm going to get you some milk here. I don't know if I'm going to stretch this part. I'll put it in the other side here. And just in case you're keeping track, no, it did not stretch. So I'm back in the house. Again, the lighting stinks. Sun went down up behind the hill, getting dark, blah, blah, blah. And um, you're probably wondering why the video stopped where it did. Well, actually, there was about another 20 or 30 minutes to that video. And uh, well, I'd stopped it and I'd started it again when I started shopping. I got up to the checkout. I was filming my checking out. Noticed some of my stuff was ringing up strange. Called it to the attention of the self-checkout individual and was informed that no, they did not honor the price tags on the shelves. One of the items was on the shelf was $134. They were trying to ring me up for $298. And there was two other items that were ringing up double. So I just went ahead and told them to put the items back. I wasn't buying it today. I, I don't condone that. 
And she said they do not honor the shelf tags anymore. Then why didn't they just change the tags? I don't understand. So there will be no grocery haul like I had wanted to have. I was a little bit upset. I wasn't mad. I was just upset because you can't get mad at the individual. It's, they're not the ones who call the shots. So I just politely told her to go ahead and put everything back. I would not be shopping. I would not be paying for my purchase today. And um, she didn't act the least bit surprised. She didn't apologize for Walmart. She just said, okay, we'll take it off. And that, that was it. You know, I had almost $300 worth of stuff and evidently $300 worth of stuff to them is a drop in the bucket. I'm sure they really don't care. And for me, it's a lot of money. So a lot of companies just aren't, they just don't have any ethics anymore, you know, and it's starting to show more and more. So that's why there's no more video from Walmart. <laughs> that's why there is no grocery haul. Right now, I am, I didn't buy any, usually I buy something for me and Chiggy to eat when I come back from town, because town is 30 minutes away. But I decided to just cut my losses. I got me some cheese bread at Little Caesars. It's only $5. And I'm frying Chiggy up some chopped ham. And that will hold us both until a little bit later when I fix dinner. I don't know if I'll bring you back when I fix dinner. It depends on what if the light's severely worse. I haven't tried turning this one on. Let's see. I don't have the best lights in this house. Is that better? I don't know if that helps or hinders. That's the best I can do. So if I decide to, I will bring you back and show you what we have for dinner, if not the whole cooking process. So I decided not to cook tonight. I really kind of figured that was the direction it was going in earlier. So what I did was I just heated up some leftovers from Taco Tuesday night and made me some nachos. Little boy's been fed. As you can hear, he's frumping. He frumps all the time in the evening, especially when I've been gone. He makes me pay for it. So that finishes out our first Vlogmas Day 1, 2022, and we hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, from our homestead to your family, blessings to all. Bye now.